This is a fire. What's up, it's Iggy. Uh, we out here in Vegas with my boys, Kevin, RJ. He's not looking. Uh, we about to eat good tonight at the Tau. He, uh, we'll keep you updated. Morris Steve Bass, please. I got you in the back, TJ. Just at eight, right? Since y'all was eight, something like that. Y'all been playing together since then? Yeah, like we play we, we went to the same camp at like eight years old and then we just became friends and then uh, Oh I forgot about that. Bro you we played one on one for like an hour. He beat me like sixty to twenty, like <laughs> it was bad. I was not good when I was younger. <laughs> on draft night, like he got drafted to the Knicks. And then you see and then you see your boy get drafted to the Knicks. Like, how was that next, like y'all next conversation when y'all saw each other? I was hyped. I was literally, I was with my family, and then somebody came over to me and said, yeah, Iggy's coming to the Knicks. I was just started screaming. I got so hyped. Yeah, man, it's, it's cool. What's the biggest transition you had to go through from the college basketball game to the NBA? Uh, I'm going to give you all three of them. The first one, I mean, just 82 games, just taking care of your body. I mean, it's a lot. I mean, y'all going, y'all some great rookies. Y'all going to play a good, good amount of minutes on the team. Feels like they play everybody. So y'all going, y'all going to get a lot of time on the court. You got to make sure you get the treatment, especially with flying overnight, landing and playing the next day, practicing and stuff. Like, that's one of them. The second one, I mean, probably just the physicality of it. I mean, uh, guys in the NBA are a lot stronger than guys in college and high school. So and then probably the last one, you know, both y'all are used to getting foul calls in the, NBA, in the in our college or high school. He don't get no calls in the NBA as a rookie, man. I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, you just got to play through it. Bro, Tris, I mean, you always want to get a vet, too, because they'll pay for the, they'll take the tab, too. Oh, yeah. They'll definitely take the tab, especially a vet. You take them out to eat, get a nice that's little free meal. Right there. Because a lot of times, a lot of times you're gonna be like getting room service and stuff because you get back so late, you don't feel like moving after a game. Uh -huh. Nah, go out with eat with a, a vet or somebody older. They'll go ahead and get that tab for you. Be straight. So you my vet now? Nah, uh -huh. I'm all that. <laughs> you my vet now, Kev. Say all that. I ain't taking no tab. Kev, my new vet. No tab. I ain't picking up no tab. I'm not. That was good. Can I talk about how we beat Kentucky? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about that. Kentucky's the best college basketball team to ever play. Like, if you look at all-time wins, who has all, who, who has the most all-time wins? Who has the best coach? Kentucky. Who has the best coach? Man, I ain't even about that. What are y'all looking forward to the most, like, this upcoming season? Like, this for y'all rookie season? I'm looking forward to just playing. Yeah. Right. I love the hoop, so playing at the highest level, especially like with y'all, especially because I'm so cool and we're so close in age. Like, I didn't really want to go to a team that had too many vets, you know? So just being able to play with people I can connect with, it's going to be fun. Yeah, that's, that's what made last year fun too. I mean, just having all the young guys on the team, like people you can relate to, like you can joke around with, like have fun with, and shoot around on the plane. Like, I guess that, that was definitely something I enjoyed last year. What about you? What you looking forward to? I personally love playing on the road in college basketball. That's what I look for for the most. So playing in those like hostile environments, that's what I live for. So that's probably what I'm looking for to the most. Yeah, on the road in NBA, I mean, it's different from college because the college on the road, you got the student sections and yeah, stuff. Like, be hype. I play. love that boy, especially Kentucky, because like everyone, every, everyone loves playing against Kentucky. Like everyone tried to beat them so yeah. bad. So like the student sections be lit, bro. I love that so much, bro. He's a great coach, man. I mean, he's just somebody you can go to and talk to. Like, even if you having like off the court stuff, like you just go talk to him. Like, he's a funny dude. Like, he'll crack jokes with you. Like, if you have a problem with something, like you can go to him for help. I mean, I think Fizz is definitely great for this job because he's gonna hold each and every one of us accountable. He's gonna make sure that we compete at the highest level, play hard, and that's all that New York's about, man. Just playing hard, competing, and uh, Fizz is a great coach for that environment. Fizz has been cool since day one. I can definitely see what, what Kev's talking about. You know, you can just relate to him so well. And uh, 
Yeah, I'm just I'm kind of really excited to play for him. He's definitely a real player's coach, and you know it looks like he he lets his players play. So you know just gotta trust him. But playing in the garden, man, there's nothing like it, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. The fans go crazy during the whole game. No other like place like New York as far as when it comes to basketball, like the fans. So like they was locked in, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, down the stretch, I mean, ain't no better place to play than the garden, man. I'm trying to tell you. We man, we'll be a lot of celebrities there. We'll be a lot of like boxers too, like sports guys, the Giants, Jets, the, all their players come to the games too. Saquon came to a few games. We we'll a lot of players there. I played in the Garden last year. That was the most lit game we had all year. That game was so crazy. Like I just, you know, we thought like playing in the Garden, like yeah, it's gonna be a great experience. It's gonna be fun, but like. The amount of people that were there, a college game, and it was like sold out. Man, that was so crazy. You couldn't even you couldn't even hear the person next to you on the court. It was so loud. Yeah, that game was definitely lit. I remember that. And that's that's the game. Like in the locker room, where like the reporters was like, it was Zion. Like how how is this going to be a Nick? And it comes to find out, you're the one that's actually the Nick. So like, tell me how that was. Then he called your name too. He's like, Yo, RJ, you want to play for the Knicks? Yeah, that was that was funny. He, we would just always joke around, and, and we kind of figured that one of us would be, you know, a Nick. So, I mean, it was just, it's really funny to see how it played out, but man, I'm, I'm so excited to be a Nick. You know, just, there's nothing better than that. Yo, I'm a Nick. <laughs> Leave me alone, bro. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. A lot of great food here. Thanks to Tao. Uh, looking forward to playing with y'all. Uh, this upcoming season, I mean, it's going to be a great experience. Uh, but I mean, here with my boy RJ, Kevin, Iggy, we out.